Welcome to What the Duck. What, this duck? You want to know more about it? Well, good. You came to the right place because Keo's going to tell you all about it. Oh, yes. Thank you, R. Anthony. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, this duck, uh, it's a very well crafts made duck. Mm -hmm. uh, it has very prominent eyelashes. Yes. Almost a twinkle in its eye, too. Perfect mm -hmm. for the ladies. Now, this is the kind of duck you just want to rub and mm -hmm. scrub and get soaky dub yeah. in your tub with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah. In fact, this duck might just be my secret uh, at a steady love life. Mm. But you didn't hear that from me. No, you didn't hear that here. That's off the record. Yeah. Also, what you didn't hear here was this authentic American-made whistle. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's classic. Fact, get, that's classic get right another, there, get, Americana. Get him another taste. Get him mm -hmm. another taste. Well, we also like to go ahead, and what comes with this free of charge is the air pocket. That goes ahead and gives you a little bit of uh, perfumes if you want to throw in there or uh, your favorite scent. Not only do you get to rub-a-dub-dub, with Keo, possibly, you didn't hear that here, or you can go ahead and enjoy the novelty of just your favorite smell. You know, after a long day, you just want to get in that hot tub and go ahead and pass on to Keo that rub-a-dub-dub duck, possibly. Yes, in fact, pretty soon, uh, we're gonna be having endorsements with Nike, so it'll mm -hmm. have the Air Max bubble inside yes. as well, because, you know, Nike's just killing it right now, yeah, the advertising just do game. It. Yeah. yeah, just, you know, do mm -hmm. it. Um, well, I think that's all we have for today, folks. So please buy this duck now and trust me, it won't be worth the money. Exactly. It's worth even less than that. Exactly. Have you ever felt like you've always needed someone to bring along shopping or in the shower, wherever that you feel lonely? Well, today we have a fantastic product and it's called the Take Me Everywhere Ducky. The Take Me Everywhere Ducky is a new fashion icon that's taking over the mainstream media. Whether it's from influencers or people like you and me, Terry, who just need a little friend. You can take the ducky everywhere. You can take him to the grocery store shopping. You can take him to the movies. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about it is the rubber ducky will never talk back to you. So, he's the right rubber ducky. He's a great rubber ducky. So in terms of payment, and why don't you let them know more? Well, in terms of payment, the, the amount of our rubber ducky is a dollar a day for 30 days. Isn't that impressive? What do you think of that price? I think that is a steal. I know I need one, and I'm going to carry it in my purse along with my hot sauce. You'll never feel lonely with the Take Me Everywhere rubber ducky. So grab yours today. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> He's adorable. Hello and good evening. Tonight we have a new product for you guys. Um, it's a rubber ducky. But and not. Mm. Mm, oh. It's just a, not your normal ducky, is it? Yeah. Daniela. Not your average ducky. Now take a close look at this ducky. Closer. Closer. Oh, not that close. You can't figure it out yet? Seriously? You guys, it's, it's spooky season. You know what that means. Halloween's coming up. Your children are going to be running wild with masks on. You won't even be able to recognize them. And, but, oh, yes. but we have something for you. Yes, look closer. There's cameras in here. You can detect the movement of each of your child with special costume recognitions, yet you can customly um, program inside the duck. Oh, and it's easy, just sell it to your child as a little Halloween trick-or-treating buddy. And yeah. doesn't it make a sound, Daniela? Something special yes. that you could have for yes. yourself. Yes, it does. Do you hear that? And it Only also children can hear it. Yes, yeah, so it's really you high pitch. Child, yeah. They'll find you. So well, a that's, lot of the that's what we have for you guys tonight. You better get it quick because it's gonna be the perfect tool for your children on Halloween, you know? So, well, get your rubber ducky. Children. Spooky yeah. season isn't gonna be the same without it. Have a good night. Spooky. Hello and good evening, everybody. It's an hour before our magical sales pitch hour. And before we get there, we have another product for you, the rubber ducky. But no, this is not just your normal rubber ducky now, is it, Daniel? Why? Say so. Well, yeah. I'll explain. Yeah, she's going to let you guys know. Now, look at this ducky. It's not your average ducky. Look a little close. Closer. Mm, not that close. 
Perfect. As you can see, there's little motion detectors inside this duck. Why would we need motion detectors, Brianna? You guys, it's spooky season, and you know what that means? Halloween's coming up, and your children are going to be running around with masks on. You might not even be able to recognize where they are or even who they are. Yeah, off with those masks of theirs, Shrek and all those wonderful creatures. It's going to be hard to keep track of your kids, so this is a perfect solution. You could easily sell it to them as their little trick-or-treating buddy while keeping track of your kids, making sure they're safe and in the right places on Halloween yes. without being that uncool parent. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what, what and what else uncute. does it do? Like, it makes a sound, right? Yes. Like, if you lose your kid, you could have one for yourself as well. Yes. Okay, well, that's all the time we have, folks. Quack yourself later. Yeah, that <laughs> sound will be able to get your kid coming back to you. Only children can hear the sound, guys. So get this now so you yes. keep track of your kid and keep them safe on Halloween while still having fun. A little trick-or-treating buddy, right? But don't use it too often because all the kids in the neighborhood will go crazy. Yeah, it hurts you, their ears. You don't want that. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. <laughs> okay, thanks. Welcome to your two-minute afternoon news. First up today, we're traveling to Europe. France has, has, been, has passed a ban on burgas. Burgas are head-to-toe -toe, uh, covering worn by women, uh, Muslim women. This law will go into effect next spring and impose a $190 fine um, the for, the, for the violations. This law will affect a large portion of France's 3.5 million Muslims. And now across the Atlantic and Cuba, the Cuban government will be laying off 500,000 people in the next six months, which speeds up the original timetable for the layoffs. But these plans also will allow more jobs in the private sector, which many say is a step in the right direction for communist Cuba. Now back in the U.S. we're going to be discussing some military news. Standing with a major military mistake, more mismarked uh, graves have been found at Arlington. After the exhumation, of remains from Ms. Mark Graves last month, one deceased soldier's family requested an investigation. And again, the remains were discovered to be the wrong ones. Hmm. And on a lighter note, Richard Etcherberger, who was posted in Laos during the Vietnam War, will be awarded the military's highest award for bravery decades after his death. Etchberger was credited with saving the lives of three of his fellow airmen, although he died shortly after. Thanks for watching, watching Saddleback, Saddleback News. News. Welcome to your two minute afternoon news. First up today, we're traveling to Europe. France has passed a ban on burqas. Burqas are the head-to-toe coverings worn by Muslim women. This law will go into effect next spring and impose a 195 for violations. This law will affect a large portion of France's 3.5 million Muslims. And now, across the Atlantic in Cuba, the Cuban government will be laying off 500,000 people in the next six months, which speeds up the original timetable for the layoffs. But... These plain also means more jobs in the private sector, which many say is a step in the right direction for communist Cuba. Now back in the U.S., we're going to be discussing some military news, starting with a major military mistake. More mismarked graves have been found at Arlington National Cemetery. After the exhumation of remains from a mismarked grave last month, one deceased soldier's family requested an investigation, and again, the remains were discovered to be the wrong ones. Oh, that's tragic. And on a lighter note, Richard Etchingberg, who was posted in Laos during the Vietnam War, will be awarded the military's highest award for bravery decades after his death. Etchingberg was credited with saving the lives of three of his fellow airmen, although he died shortly after. Thanks for watching Saddleback, Saddleback News. News. Catch you later. Later.
<laughs> well, isn't that great about the award, huh? I know, it's so interesting. Too bad. Welcome to your two-minute afternoon news. First up today, we're traveling to Europe. France has passed a ban on barkas. Barkas are the head of a covering-worn Muslim woman. Uh, this law will go into effect next spring and impose a $190 fine for violations. This law will affect a large portion of France's 3.5 million Muslims. And now across the Atlantic in Cuba, the Cuban government will be laying off 500,000 people in the next six months, which speeds up the original timetable for the layoffs. Mm. But this plans will not allow more jobs in the private sector, which will, many will say is a step in the right direction for communist Cuba. Mm. Now, back in the U.S., we're going to be discussing some military news. <clears throat> Starting with a major military mistake. More mismarked graves have been found at Arlington National Cemetery after the exhumation of remains from a mismarked grave last month. One deceased soldier's family requested an investigation, and again, the remains were discovered to be the wrong ones. Hmm. And on a lighter note, Richard Edgeberger, who was posted in Laos during the Vietnam War, will be awarded the military's highest award for bravery hmm. decades after his death. Elchberger was created with saving the lives of three fellow airmen, although he died shortly after. Mm. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Saddleback, Saddleback News. News. Well, welcome to your two minute afternoon news. First up today, we're traveling to Europe. France has passed a ban on burqas. Burqas are the head to toe coverings worn by Muslim women. This law will go into effect next spring and, and impose a $190 fine for violations. This law will affect a large portion of France's 3.5 million Muslims. Yeah, so now across the Atlantic in Cuba, the Cuban government will be laying off 500,000 people in the next six months, which speeds up the original timetable for the layoffs. But these plans also will allow more jobs in the private sector, which many say is a step in the right direction for good old communist Cuba. Now back in the U.S., we're going to be discussing some military news. Starting with a major military mistake, more mismarked graves have been found at Arlington National Cemetery after the exhumation of remains from a mismarked grave last month. One deceased soldier's family requested and inve an, an investigation. And again, the remains were discovered to be the wrong ones. Mm. And on a lighter note, Richard Etchberger, who was posted in Laos during the Vietnam War, will be awarded the military's highest award for bravery decades after his death. Etchberger was credited to saving lives of three of his fellow airmen, although he died shortly after. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Saddleback, Saddleback News. News. You stay classy, Saddleback. Stay classy.